Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss regarding the another topic that is Maxwell distribution of molecular speeds. Okay. So in the previous class we discussed regarding the some assumptions of kinetic theory of gases. Okay, and also pressure law, temperature, and also concept of temperature and also law of PP partition. Okay. Today we are going to discuss regarding the Maxwell distribution of molecular speeds. What is this Maxwell distribution of molecular speeds? According to kinetic theory of gases, according to kinetic theory of gases, if if you take any gas, gas consists of what molecules. Okay. According to kinetic theory of gases, these molecules will move in all directions. Okay. They are always in a state of motion. When they are in motion, what happens? They will collide with frequently. They will collide with each other and also with the walls of the container, isn't it? Okay, like that. The like that. The gas molecules will have all possible speeds and they are moving all directions, isn't it? Because the gas molecules are moving and they are colliding with each other and also with the walls of the container, the molecules will they may continuously change the velocities, isn't it? The velocities of the molecules will continuously change because they are colliding with each other and also with the walls of the container. According to the kinetic theory of gases, any gas if you take, they have molecules and those molecules are moving. All they are always in the state of motion. During their motion, they will collide with each other and also with the walls of the container. Hence, they have different velocities, different speeds, and also they will move in different directions. Now the question is. How the velocities will be distributed? How the speeds will be distributed among these molecules? Because they have all possible velocities. How the velocities will be distributed? How the if you take a randomly if you take any molecule from the gas, what is the velocity of that gas? We have to know, isn't it? See, there are so many n number of molecules. For example, there are small n number of molecules. They have Different velocities v1, v2, v3, so on. If you randomly take any velocity, okay, you have to say that this velocity, this molecule will have the velocity within the range, within this range, okay. So that is the distribution of velocities. That is the Maxwell law of distribution of velocities, okay. So here the the velocities will be continuously changing, okay. Now the Maxwell will give the some uh, the he, he established the Maxwell law of distribution of molecular speeds and mathematical proof is given by what whom? This uh, what uh, Boltzmann, okay? Boltzmann given the mathematical proof of Maxwell's uh, theory of molecular distribution of speeds, okay? So here, here see, I think. I think me karta main naam na malo sir the rule I think ka clear karta main thodi. Okay, ekad I am I am saying only for English medium only. But if I say in some of the few words in Telugu, then you can betterly understand. See, manam gas this kind of like the that lo molecules onda. A molecules ane bi random ka any direction lo move out a onda. What if different different velocities onda? Hindu kante abhi okadhan ko pati collide out onda. Kavati velocity change out hai ana. बाडी इंको बाडी को वेलासी चेंज अट्ला गैस दालिक्यूल उ मालिक्यूल की डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्पीड उ इपड़ क्वेश्चन एफरेंट डिफरेंट स्पीड मन एट रिकग्नजे ओके आलास्यूटा इपड़ेदा याडम मालिक्यूल मन गैस लाइते दिन वेलासीटी ए रेंज एट अकॉर्ंग टू मैक्ल डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन आफ मालिकुल स्पीड The uh, Maxwell said that if any molecule having the velocity between c and c plus d c, okay, I name another Maxwell he is giving the distribution law, velocity distribution law among the gases because there are so many velocities in the gases, uh, so many velocities in the gas molecules. Okay, see if you randomly take any molecule from the gas, either no ka molecule ni manam gas nuchi piece kona tlaite, okay. अब दी मालिक्यूल हाविंग दिन बिटी दिटी द मालिक्यूल सी सी इज दिटी इन सी रात 
ఏదైనా మాలిక్యూల్ని మనం తీసుకున్నట్లయితే ఒకవేళ దాని యొక్క వెలాసిటీ అనేది సి అండ్ సి ప్లస్ డిసి మధ్యలో ఉన్న మాలిక్యూల్స్ యొక్క నంబర్ ఎంత ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ వి ఆర్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటింగ్ ద మాలిక్యూల్స్ హియర్ ఓకే ద ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఏ క్లాస్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఏ క్లాస్ ఓకే లెట్ అస్ కన్సర్వ్ వన్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ దట్ క్లాస్ ఓకే సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ గాట్ ఏ గ్రేడ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ గాట్ బి గ్రేడ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ గాట్ సి గ్రేడ్ నౌ ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ గాట్ ఏ గ్రేడ్ ఓకే హౌ మెనీ నంబర్ దట్ విల్ బి కౌంటెడ్ ఇన్ ద క్లాస్ ఓకే అండ్ దే విల్ బి గివెన్ నౌ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ బట్ ద మ్యాక్స్ వెల్ గివెన్ ఏ ఫార్ములా హీ ఫైన్ దట్ compulsory the molecules which are moving in different velocities even though they the molecules will move in a different uh, the molecules having the different velocities but some of the molecules okay some of the molecules will move within certain range okay that number is given by according to maxwell according to maxwell the number of molecules according to maxwell the number of molecules having the velocities within the range c and c plus dc nothing but what for example the molecules are moving with 10 to 15 km per hour this is the number of molecules having velocities between 10 to 15 km per hour how many number of molecules they are what is the formula that formula is given by who maxwell okay that formula is the number of molecules within the range 10 9 10 plus nothing but what 10 9 10 plus 5 c and c plus dc here dc is 5 that is the mean here dc is 5 between the range 10 9 15 how many number of molecules are there that formula is given by maxwell okay so that is the formula the formula is d and c is equal to the number of molecules within the range c and c plus dc is d and c is the number of molecules having the velocity c and c plus dc d and c is equal to 4 pi n m by 2 pi kt whole power 3 by 2 okay whole power 3 by 2 into e power minus nc square by 2 kt into c square dc this is the formula okay very very important this formula okay dnc is equal to 4 pi n m by 2 pi kt whole power 3 by 2 e power minus nc square by 2 kt into c square dc this this is the number of molecules having the velocity c and c plus dc these many number of molecules having the velocity c and c plus dc okay right ante i mean ante endante ippudu nam molecules ki anni velocities anni possible velocities unde zero nunchi infinity varaku anni molecules ki anni velocities anni possible velocities unde kaani 10 nunchi 15 kilometer la lopu velle మాలిక్యూల్స్ యొక్క నంబర్ ఎంత సంఖ్య ఎంత అది ఎట్లా అనుకుంటాం అంటే ఈ ఫార్ములా డిఎన్సి తీసుకోండి ఇక్కడ టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ అన్న కదా సి అండ్ సి ప్లస్ డిసి అంటున్నాం ద ఇంటర్వెల్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ట్వంటీ లైక్ దట్ ఓకే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద రేంజ్ బిట్వీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ టు ట్వంటీ నథింగ్ బట్ వాట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ లైక్ దట్ ఓకే ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ విత్ ఇన్ దట్ రేంజ్ టు గెట్ దట్ రేంజ్ is the formula is what 4 pi in m by 2 pi kt whole power 3 by 2 e power minus n square by 2 kt into c square dc so this is the formula i think you got the concept of maxwell distribution of molecular speeds okay just we are finding the range okay how many number of molecules having the velocities within this range 10 to 15 20 to 25 how many number of molecules how many number of molecules the the maxwell and uh, Boltzmann, they solved the equation and they got this many number of molecules having the range C and C plus DC. In place of C, you can put any number, 10, 9, 10 plus 5. Okay, like that. DC is the interval, right? So, I think you got the point, okay? This is the distribution of speeds formula, okay? Now, to find that, to derive this formula, that is the main point. To derive this formula, they assume some assumptions, Okay? they assumed some assumptions the first one is what the assumptions in the assumption the gas consists of molecules with all possible speeds between zero and infinity that 
that is the first assumption okay they to derive this formula okay they done some assumptions first assumption is what the gas molecules the gas consists of molecules okay the velocities of the gas molecules will be within the range 0 to infinity right next next point the average density of the gas is same at all places okay at equilibrium within the vessel okay the next point the next assumption is what the average density of the gas enclosed in a vessel in equilibrium is the same at all places okay the average density of the gas is same at all places within the vessel that is the second assumption first assumption is what the gas molecules will have the velocities from the range 0 to infinity second one the average density of the gas molecule within the uh, vessel at equilibrium is same at all places average density of the gas molecule nothing but what the density is same at all places okay so that is the second assumption third one though the speeds of individual molecules are different just now i said even though the molecules have different velocities but but some of the molecules will definitely have between the range of c and c plus dc okay even though the individual molecules have different velocities but some of the molecules will have the velocities within the range some of the within the limits okay so that is the third point even though the speeds of individual molecules are changing but definite number of molecules have speeds between different def definite number of molecules will have speeds between definite range that is the fourth assumption uh, third assumption fourth assumption the probability that any molecule selected at random the probability that any molecule selected at random has velocities lying between the has velocities lying between the uh, range has velocities lying between the has velocities lying between certain limits is purely a function of velocity and the limit for example see if you if you select any random uh, random molecule let us consider random molecule let us consider any molecule whose velocity is u and whose limit within the limit du then the probability of this molecule having velocity u and limit du is purely a function of its velocity and the limit the product of f of u into du i think you got see if you randomly select any molecule whose velocity is u okay and the limit of the uh, velocity is du then its probability is purely a function of its velocity and the limit okay what is the probability of any molecule having velocity it is simply the purely a function of that velocity and its limit so f of u into du if any particle if any molecule is having velocity u and whose range is du okay and this range is du then the probability of this molecule is a function of purely a function of the velocity and the limit so f of u into du okay i think you got it for example i am finding the I, I took a molecule whose velocity is c then and its range is dc nothing but what it will move from 5 km to 10 km range is 5 to 10 range is what 5 km du ok so dc so then c is the velocity then f of c into dc is the probability of that molecule ok that is so the probability of the molecule is purely a function of its velocity and the limit that is the th fourth uh, assumption. Now, the next assumption is what? The components of the velocity of molecule in three mutually perpendicular direction. They are independent of its position. And also the, they are independent, they are, they are perpendicular directions are considered to be independent of each other. And they do not depend on the, its position. And also the value of the velocity of other molecules. If we see here, okay, here. If you take any molecule here, if you take any molecule, so if you take any molecule here, for example, here we are taking molecule having velocity c. This is the this here 
we are taking the molecules in a velocity diagram. Here we are taking the molecules in a velocity diagram. Let us consider one such a molecule whose velocity is c, and it is denoted in a velocity diagram. The origin is o, o x, o o x, o by o z are the three perpendicular axes. Okay, o p is a uh, what is the position vector of the uh, velocity c here. O p is what c. Okay, velocity here it is a uh, position vector. Right here, the velocity, the here, see the number of here. Just now I said a gas consists of so many molecules. Here we are taking one such a molecule, and we are representing in a velocity diagram. O P represents what? C. C is a one molecule velocity. Right. Its components are divided into three axes. The component of C along x axis is U, and the component of C. Along y axis is b, and the component of c along z axis, along z axis is w. Okay, so the c square is equal to u square plus b square plus w square. Our c is simply the magnitude of c formula under root u square plus b square plus w square. The component here, the velocity component c is divided along x y z axis like this, u v w. Okay. Now the fifth assumption says that whatever the components of velocity, they are independent of their position and also they are independent of the velocities of different components. That is the fifth assumption. Okay. Whatever the velocity of the molecule you are taken and they are divided in three dimensions. Okay. The components of C along x axis is u, y axis is v. And z axis is w. It is simply we are dividing like c is a velocity u y cap plus v j cap plus w k cap like that. Okay, this is the our actual velocity component. And along the three directions, the velocity is divided like that. Okay, vector components, right? Now the along three dimension, whatever the velocities we are taking, that velocities are. Independent of each other, okay. Independent of each other, that does not depend on each other. That is the fifth assumption, okay. So this is the first video regarding the Maxwell law of distribution of molecular speeds. In this, we uh, find find the uh, what formula and also some assumptions. In the next video, okay. In the next video, I will explain the derivation, okay. Right. Thank you.